You have violated my power to rule you, and therefore you are an obstinate fool. Today I shall send you to the place of Jamaraj. Hiranyakashipu condemned his Vaishnava son, Prahlad, for being durbinita, ungentle, uncivilized, or impudent. Srila Vishwanathakura Thakur, however, has derived a meaning from this word Durbinita, by the mercy of the goddess of learning, Saraswati, he says that Du refers to this material world. This is confirmed by Lord Krishna in his instruction in Bhagavad Gita that this material world is Dukhalayam, full of material conditions. Bhi means Vishesa, specially. Specifically, and Nito means brought in. By the mercy of the Supreme Lord, Prahlad Maharaj was especially brought to this material world to teach people how to get out of the material condition. Lord Krishna says, Jada Jada is Armasya Granir Bhavati Bharata. When the entire population, or part of it, becomes forgetful of its own duty, Krishna comes. When Krishna is not present, the devotee is present, but the mission is the same, to free the poor conditioned souls from the clutches of the maya that chastises them. Srila Vishwanathakuru Thakur further explains that the word mandatman means manda, very bad, or very slow in spiritual realization. As stated in Srimad Bhagavatam, first canto, Manda Asmanda Matayo Manda Bhagya. Prahlad Maharaj is the guide of all the mandas of bad living entities who are under the influence of Maya. He is the benefactor even of the slow and bad living entities in this material world. Ula Bheda Karadhamo. By his actions, Prahlad Maharaj made great personalities who established big, big families seem insignificant. Even one is interested in his own family, in making his dynasty famous. Prahlad Maharaj is so liberal that he made no distinction between one living entity and another. Therefore, he was greater than the great Tajapatis who established their dynasties. In the word stopdham means obstinate. A devotee doesn't care for the instructions of the Asuras. When they give instructions, he remains silent. A devotee cares about the instructions of Krishna, not those of demons or non-devotees. He doesn't give any respect to a demon, even though the demon be his father. Matsasana Drutam Pralat Matsasana Drutam Prahlad Maharaj was disobedient to the orders of his demoniac father. Jamakhyam, every conditioned soul is under the control of Jamaraj. But Hiranyakashi said that he considered Prahlad Maharaj is deliverer for Prahlad to stop Hiranyakashi's reputation of birth and death because Prahlad Maharaj being a great devotee was better than any yogi. Hiranyakashi was to be brought among the society of bhakti yogis. Thus, Sri Lavishnachakra Thakur has explained these words in a very interesting way as they can be interpreted from the side of Saraswati, the mother of Lan. Matsasana Gudam Nasi Kadyo Jamakyam. You understand? Hiranakashipu was a demon 
but his son Prahlad as a great devotee. The devotee, as my revered Guru Maharaj says, doesn't care for the instructions of Asuras. When Asuras give instructions, he remains silent. A devotee cares about the instructions of Krishna. Not those of demons or non devotees. He doesn't give any respect to a demon, even though the demon be his father. You understand? So, Tiranakashipu, as Jiranakashipu was a great demon, and Prahlad Maharaj, his son, was a great devotee. He doesn't pay any respect to the instructions of Hiranyakashi, his demoniac father. You understand? Mm. And here, my revered spiritual master, Silo, Bhakti Vedanta Swami Prabhupada Maharaj, gives a very interesting explanation or interpretation of the word Gurbhinita and it is self-explanatory in its purport. This Gurbhinita, the meaning of this word is given here. <coughs> mm -hmm. most impudent. Mm. The meaning of this word is most impudent, but Vishwanathakavar Thakur has given very nice explanation of this word as Goddess of Lani, Mother Saraswati, that given. Mm. Here Prabhupada Mara says that. Do. Binita. Hmm? Do means the Bhagavad Gita says Dukhalem full of material condition. Do you understand? This is do. It refers to this material world. And B Nita. B means Vishesha specifically. And Nita means brought in. Mm, specifically brought in. Mm. By the mercy of the Supreme Lord, Prahlad Maharaj was specifically brought to this material world. You understand? This is the meaning. Vishwanath mm. Chakravar Thakur gives. You understand? Huh? Here, it means most impudent. Hiranyaka says, Hedrubhinita. Oh, you must be impudent for love. But here, the Sanatakura Thakur gives very nice meaning. They must specifically, for love, Maharaj has brought into this material world. Then he had those conditions those. Yes, that's all life is to be in it all. Mm. Do you understand? Different meaning. The same word having different meanings. You understand? In Uriya language, Sahitya literature, we have the Alankar. You understand? Mm. The rhetoric, huh? mm. grammatical rhetoric. That is Alankar, Anamit. Huh? It's literally meaning. But in literature, it is rhetoric. Huh? So many Alankaras. That is, there is one Shlesh Alankar. Huh? Shlesh Alankar. Are you a student of literature? You uh, do you know this Alankar? You don't know this. Huh? The Shlesh Alankar. Shlesh Alankar means, apparently it will mean something and it has some other meaning as Dhrubi Do you understand? Mm. That is known as Shlesh Alankar. Mm. Rupa Goswami wrote a letter to Sanatana Goswami with Shlesh Alankar. You understand? 
and only sanatan go some could understand others cannot understand it eh? as guru binita means most impudent but the sanatan go thak says yes that's very nice specifically is brought into this material world is guru binita to deliver the condition so then say this chole uh, shalanga mm. uh, many instances are there mm. in literature mm. especially in sanskrit literature are you a student of sanskrit literature ha huh? now you are becoming mm. previously you were not <laughs> in sanskrit literature there is a lanka hmm the first lanka apparently it means something and it has another meaning very interesting meaning you understand hmm in ramayana we find such things hmm when srupanaka came hmm srupanaka do you know the sister of ravana hmm demonas ha huh? srupanaka came Uh, so Sita, Devi, Ram, Lakshman, they were staying in the forest, huh? and uh, Supanga came in a very beautiful maiden, uh, assumed, she assumed the form of very beautiful maiden. Huh? Ram looks very beautiful, handsome, supreme lord, so he, she wanted to marry Ram. We understand, but Ram said, "You see, my wife is with me, Sita Devi. How can I marry you? I can't." But my younger brother Lakshman, huh? He had no wife. Well, I am writing letter to him. You please approach him. Huh? He may accept you. So Sri Pranakha got the letter of Ram. Lord Ram went to Lord Ram. Lord Ram has written. Who? Hmm? Has he written? Babu Nako Siri Dano Jukyo Josaku Bihoro Kanono Koro Alimono. This is Sanskrit, huh? This is the allegorical meaning. Sri Salamka, huh? Sri Pranakha read it. It seems very nice. Nako Sir Nako means Nako Pristam, the heaven planet. Do you understand? Ah, uh, oh Babu, my brother. Hmm. Uh, Form of address Babu. Hmm. Ah, uh, Nako Siri Dano Jogyo Josa. This Josa, this woman. Ah, uh, ah. Uh, you give the her Nako Siri Dano. Nako means the heavenly opulence giving. Give her the heavenly opulence. Huh? And she is uh, mm, befitting to get it. Do you understand? Babu Nakka Siri Dhanu Chukya Rosak. Bihoro Kanono Poro Alimono. Kanono means forest. Uh, in this forest, you just uh, enjoy her or play with her, amusement with her. All these things. Huh? Vihara Kanan, Kora Alingana, to embrace her. Alingana means embrace. This is the uh, apparent meaning. You understand? And Sopanakha read it, yes, it's a very nice letter. Mm, but Lakhana understood in a different way. <laughs> This is Sura Salamkar. Lakhana could understand it. What is the real meaning? As Vishwanatha Kavathaka gives a real meaning. Ah, this is Durbinta. Hmm. Ah, he is bifting. Hmm. This word is bifting. And to Prahlad Maharaj, you see, Durbinta is very specifically he was brought into the material world. Durbinta. This is apparent meaning. He is most impudent. He chastises. You don't know what chastises. You Durbinta. But. Sanatana Thakur, yes, this is a nice word. The spirit is specifically brought into the middle of all to deliver the conditions of all. Similarly, 
Lakshman could understand. Babu Nako Siri Tana Jukta Visham. Nako means knows. You understand? Nako Siri Tana. This is befitting to this maiden. Katak is a no, her knows. Nako Siri Tana Jukta Visham. Bihoro Kano. Kano means ear. Katak her ears. Nako, don't embrace her. No, for us. <laughs> then, I've been imprisoned by Maya. How do you think that I am a liberated soul? I am not in the prison house. Huh? You are a prisoner. Your hands and legs are tied up very tightly by Maya. How do you think so? And how can you deliver the others when you are bound up? You are in bondage. This is great foolishness. Then stand. That we say. Therefore, we accept Bonafide spiritual master to be liberated eh? and to come to the path of this devotional service for Kipata. It's the best way to be liberated. And we want to be chastised by spiritual master, eh? to be disciplined by. Therefore, we will be disciples and we we'll, are eternally disciples. Not for one day or two days, now we are not disciples, no. Eternally disciples. Sadasisya thaki. Let me be a disciple eternally. Let my spiritual master inflict eternal his discipline on me because I am such a nonsense. If there are no discipline, if my guru will never inflict any discipline, I may be in discipline. Most, most likely. Because this is a material world. I am a conditioned soul. So it is needed. If someone gets this thing, he should be very glad. Yes, now I am chastised. I am disciplined. Discipline is inflicted on me. Oh, I am very fortunate. My guru is so kind to me. You must think so. But if someone thinks otherwise, oh, hey, what sort of guru is this? It's nice to me. I'm such a great soul. Huh? I know everything. Huh? Why shall I care? For his instruction. I'll give instruction. Isn't it? Then what will be the bag? What will be the lot? You see, this is a very sorry state of affairs. You see, too cold, very difficult. Now we we live in the countries with uh, full of demons. Demons, actually, president, uh, everybody, the rulers are demons. Yes. So how devotees should take instruction given by the, the administrators of the, uh, no. the rulers? If the administrator and rulers like Hiranyakashipu give such instructions which is detrimental uh, yes. to the path of devotional service, the devotee will never care. What should, what should he do? He will never care. No. You, you only depend on Krishna. Krishna is all powerful, he will protect us. A path is it. Maharaj, if they torture us, Huh? If they torture us. Yes. Then. You don't know because you get so much Yes. You, you take the example of Allah. The demon of father gave so much torture. But still, Allah was not caring for it. He was protected in all circumstances. Then stand. Krishna Rakhyati. Krishna will protect. Avasya Rukhive Krishna. Vishwasa Param. Farm faith in Krishna must protect me. Because I am paying all attention to Krishna's instructions. I can't pay any attention to this demoniac instructions. Though he may be my father, I want him to care. 
not protected. This, this is our teaching. This is our teaching. Have firm faith in Krishna. Have firm faith in the instruction of Sadhu, Sastra and Guru Bhagya. You understand? You must be protected. No. Ah. You understand? You try, you practice this thing. Apply this in your life and see how it is. <laughs>